guys the channel all right i have a hp chromebook 11a g6 ee yeah all right so it's a chromebook that i want to put a windows inside of it okay so first of all we have to lose back because this is a chromebook um with a type c port so the way to disable the right protection is to disable the battery okay so we will lose the back out then we have to take out the battery for us to be able to get into the deliver mode and uh, also it will allow it to run a windows operating system by changing the firmware okay it's all the same process of um, my previous videos especially the first one I did so the same process you have to um, disable the protection right okay by just removing the battery so let me take out the mouse as the mouse flex okay that's the keyword you can um, notice this that any system that has a type C okay I see like this you must disable the battery okay the battery usually is the uh, um, protection right okay you must disable the battery for you to be able to run smoothly on the developer mode and also when um running the new firmware it doesn't stop you all right let's plug our type c charger all right control refresh button um power button together all right so takes us here all right all right we are trying to plug a device here we have to off the verification voice so press enter to do that and the verification voice is off okay now the next thing is to press ctrl d all right but it's not working all right let me restart and see and try again it's not still working Ctrl D is not working all right let's look at the information there's any information there let's look at the information the deliver mode is disabled in this device okay all right so first what we have to do is to on the system normal and uh, we put our email all right we just on it i've on back the the uh, uh, verified mode so you have to just put your email and login down to the desktop after that you restart the system after restarting the system you start it all afresh and automatically the developer mode will get uh, uh, enabled when you do that okay and you make sure your battery is still disabled why doing this process you make sure your battery is still disabled and that will make it to work perfectly okay you will be able to get back to the developer mode all right after you have finished putting your details your email your password and you get down to the desk world stop that's what i mean then after getting down to the desktop like what we are doing now you have to say you okay then after that you put your email all right when you put my email here Okay. Then put in my email, then my password. Then I get to the desktop. Then after that, I have to restart the system. Then now try to get to the developer mode by pressing that control refresh button and power button together. It will take you to the developer mode and it will be enabled. The developer mode will be enabled, it will not be disabled anymore. And while you are doing this, I still repeat again, your battery must also be disabled so that the potential right will not recognize. Okay. That is the process, that's the way of doing this. Because you cannot, you cannot um, use the other method that I use where you can use the BIOS chip to uh, program. Okay. 
if you want to do that on this kind of system is called BIOS editing you have to have a software where you can edit the BIOS okay and I do not have such tools for now all right so now we're on the desktop okay so what should we do now the next step um, is to oh guys you can see we are already um, done that we are on the developer mode now okay I just had to cut the video all right after logging into uh, the uh, to the verify mode then I, I now shut down I to redo it it passed okay next I will need to just set the root password all right which is come to alter that to then the root password we type in the code chrome os slash dev password all right after typing the root all right admin admin then verified admin admin anyway then we exist okay all right so existing is by control alter uh, f1 which is backward all right that's it so what we have to do next is to type in uh, mr chromebook uh chromebook then we go to okay supported device let's see if you can get to firm utility script it's not opening let's click on it again i think we have to go back and see it's not still working okay not working all right let's go back let's go back and see all right let's use it directly here where you see it's okay here it's opening okay let's copy this code this is the code we need we are going to copy it let's try again you can use an install mouse if you are having challenges on how to operate it or right. i'll uh, try and copy it this time around again all right let's see if it will copy this time okay all right let me highlight it well all right okay i'm going to copy now let's go back all right then we type in now uh, shell they are pressing oh it was double okay for us to enter this we say control alter t that is control alter terminal you're getting into the terminal then after this you post in the code then you put in the admin password it will load and download in the new firmware before it downloads you have to treatment everything if your protection right is still there if it's not there it's fine it's okay press y to continue press y so enter okay it's enter sorry not y all right so then i'll press two okay we accept y to continue enter then we have to back up our firmware in case of anything goes wrong we have to back up our firmware with a flash yeah and it's one Okay, wait for it for a while for it to back up and it's just completed okay now it's loading a new firmware okay we just have to wait for a while it just takes up to the highest at two minutes or five minutes see you are done here okay please if you find this video helpful please do want to subscribe to the channel and follow me up for more videos like this all right I'm always here to help you and uh, you can consult me for free all right on how to help you to uh, fix your chromebook your your laptops any laptop you have at hand we can we are trying our best to update ourselves to make sure we we are doing the best we can to give you the best services you need okay you just have to wait after this um it is done okay press enter 
you press R to reboot and we'll wait for a while to take up to all right here's our new firmware okay so we have to flash system format it okay press escape to go there we take the boot menu we take select the flash okay use windows light as normal and it's loading yeah it's loading okay as usual i normally drop my our drivers for free i'm going to drop in the drivers of this um as of this uh chromebook yeah for you so that you can access it and uh, if you have any similar chromebook like this hp um chromebook 11a g8 or g6 two of them any of those products it works on any of them now see these are our issues we have now we have to download this software okay we have to install this i'm using a windows system to do this i'm going to also drop the 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 software extract this software down to a flash or any devices you want to use why is um i'm using the flash that the, the, the bootable windows flash that's the flash i'm going to back this file in i'm just copying it to a system first after this i'm going to plug in my flash to back it up to put it there without this software you cannot uh, see the ssd okay you cannot see the ssd that is the storage device of the uh, chromebook os chromebook sorry so that's why we are doing this okay that's why we are doing this so after copying it there we have to plug a flash the flash then we copy the, the file this is the file we need so we copy it now then we plug in our flash operating system flash that is a bootable flash that's what i mean you have to plug in your bootable flash then you copy the file there to be able for you to to access your your ssd as i said so we just copied it okay all right now we have plugged back the flash we plug in a mouse uh, we have to browse for that software we go there browse we look we go to location where that software is and here it is all right so here it is okay let me zoom it then we click next so automatically now see the ssd that's the way we did on the uh, 11 gen systems and uh, 10 gen and 12 gen systems windows systems you know you have to download the software to see the ssd so we are deleting all the files we delete all the files yeah we are done deleting it so this other process is quite easy and we know the process just to um after loading yeah this is what we got i had to cut the video just to make it short not to make it long for you guys okay uh, the next thing we have to do after this we have to install the drivers okay we just do few setup uh, your, your chromebook is ready few setup then after that we install our, our drivers okay remember that um to subscribe do well to follow me up more okay and uh, hit the notification button for more videos like this for more videos like this i'm going to do more chrome videos um any challenges you have you can also consult me it's quite free for now so you can do it to consult me and um, get an idea on how to do your chromebooks okay well yeah all right let's um install the drivers all right okay then we um, i think i have it here i have to copy it out to the desktop okay it's copied 
let's move to the desktop all right we install first the vc microsoft visual c plus plus 2015 so we install that and it's done okay we can now install the drivers okay okay we on tick um, some of the uh, other mouse drivers okay the first one is the drivers okay and it's it has installed okay with the mouse on i have to think on take those ones and it's working all right see my next video bye for now